For anyone who likes Dungeons and Dragons, the Diablo series was superb. But Diablo 2 was one of the greatest games of its type ever made. Of course, these days Diablo 2 looks really dated. But thankfully, they resurrected it. With better graphics, faster frame rate, Diablo 2 Resurrected brings new life into the old game. I'm not a big fan of remasters or remakes, but I love seeing old games get brought back to life. That's what we all want to see. We all wanted to see Diablo 2 get resurrected, and that's exactly what they've done. And it looks great, and it plays great, and it really does bring the old game back to life. And with legions of undead to kill with swords and javelins and axes and daggers and magic and fireballs and lightning, this game is as good as it ever was, only it looks a million times better. They've brought it bang up to date. You've got to be careful with some remasters, like Commandos 2. With that game, they tried to remove the Nazi symbols. They tried to, you know, basically in that make it politically correct and change things that they never should have messed with. You should always keep the game the way it is. Just make the graphics better. And that's all you've got to do, really, to make the perfect remaster. You don't want to remake the game and add new levels and change it, because if you do that, it's not the same game. You've got to keep it authentic to the original classic it was. When it comes to remastering a game, it's all about evolution, not revolution. You don't want to change the game. You don't want to turn it into something different. You just want to basically evolve it, make it look better, make it play faster. And that's what they've done with this game. And in fact, they kept a lot of the old style menu systems and the old style inventory boxes. And I kind of like that, even though it does feel a bit old hat, because they haven't changed too much in this game. Apart from the graphics and the frame rate, you know, it basically is Diablo 2. But they have changed certain things, and those are the things you want them to change. They've added more monsters, more chaotic battles, better looking graphics. I mean, the original Diablo 2 would look pretty bad today. You know, I mean, if you're a fan of classic gameplay, you might like it. But most kids would look at it and think, I can't play this, it looks too old. But this is why you update games. You breathe new life into them, and they've done that with Diablo 2, and I think they've done it very well. When you remaster a classic game, you really are taking a chance. Whether it's Commandos 2, or Diablo 2, or Doom. I mean, just look at what happened with the Grand Theft Auto trilogy. They made a right mess of that. But here, they treated the game with respect and dignity. And they've really put a lot of effort and work into trying to make it look as amazing and brilliant as possible. And I think they've done a fantastic job. Done such a great job with the graphics. In many ways, it feels like a sequel to Diablo 3 rather than a prequel. But they've done a brilliant job with it. That's all I can say. I mean, it looks great. It plays great. Yes, there are one or two frame drops on console but nothing really to worry about. Bottom line, Diablo 2 was a great game, but nowadays the graphics just wouldn't hold up. I mean, it does look very, very dated. So they've done a fantastic job, not only keeping the essential gameplay that made it so great, but bringing it into the modern era and making it look fantastic too. All the characters are there, the Necromancer, the Barbarian, the Paladin, they're all there, but how you choose your character and how you play the game is up to you. If you want to use weapons and arrows and spears or fireballs or magic spells, the choice is yours. But whether you rely on weapons or magic, the fact is Diablo 2 is a geek's paradise. You know, anyone who likes Dungeons and Dragons can't help but love this game. Of course, it's much more fun playing as a magical character. I mean, hacking and slashing has its, you know, has its moments, but let's be honest, there's nothing like setting fire to a bunch of undead zombies and blowing them apart with a fireball. Having said that, I do like hacking through zombies with a big sword. It's kind of satisfying. And also, you can throw weapons on this game. At one point, I had two javelins and I was just throwing them at zombies and it was, it was kind of cool. As much as it's popular these days in the media to slate any remasters of a classic game and just say they're rubbish immediately, I can't fault this game. I think the original is brilliant, and I think the remaster is also brilliant. I did see one review that said the game resists change and it might not be appealing to newcomers, but I just find that a load of crap, because this game will appeal to anyone who loves brilliant role-playing adventure games. This game has superbly crafted worlds, brilliant looking monsters, and that it really is excellent. Yes, the game you know, was a classic PC game, and it does revolve around using a lot of inventory boxes, and you have only so many weapons you can carry, and that will probably confuse people, and they'll have to think about what they carry and what they leave behind, but you know what? That's part of the game. That's what makes it so good. Leveling up your character and leveling up his skills is essential. 
And I suggest you make sure you do that before taking on any huge, big, monstrous boss battle. Because if you're not strong enough, sometimes you can get killed real quick. So make sure your character has as much experience as possible before taking on any big boss battle. As a gamer, I love variety. And this game will give you so many different weapons and spells. No matter how hardcore you are as a dungeon crawler, you can't help but be happy. And with all kinds of monsters from the pits of hell, this game really is satisfying. I'd give Diablo 2 88 out of 100. The original game was a classic, and this remaster doesn't disappoint. For me, it's brilliant. It's obvious that the developers of this game wanted to pay respect to the original Diablo 2, and they have done that, and they've done it by putting in a lot of quality and a lot of hard work, and it's really paid off.